And then on top of that, it's all it's all scooters all the time here apparently, because uh, uh, Brian Crawford from PGHMuseums.org uh, stopped in today with his new scooter, and uh, and and what's okay. So first of all, like I understand the idea, you need the app to play like the, the like the spin ones where you kind of rent them for a period and everything like that. It's only in the city, um, but he the one that he got, and I'll pull it up here in a moment. In order to operate his scooter, you need the app on your phone. His own owned scooter. Wow, is it, that like a security thing? I guess I. It, I'm like, but what all does it do? It's an electric scooter. Uh, he just got it's uh eight it, it goes up to 18 miles per hour and can climb hills up to 20 percent grade that's helpful around here uh, that means I can climb uh, all but seven hills in Pittsburgh including most streets you'd see in Peach View <laughs> so he's literally in the worst neighborhood to use the scooter <laughs> so um, the scooter allegedly has self-healing tires and can do uh, uh, 25 miles an hour I don't know what I don't know what that sound was. I don't know. Maybe you guys got it. Maybe you didn't. Uh, anyways, um, but uh, it is uh, Segway Nine Bot is is what it's called. So if you want to look that up, the uh, Segway Nine Nine Bot. Um, but we're also in that. So we like I said, we have the scooters here, and already like I pulled up the app. If you download an app called Spin for scooters, um, you can locate them. And I've seen this in the other, I think I've, Lyft had this in Nashville, I think, and I was able to pull up the Lyft app and see where all the scooters were. I used a, uh, I used a, a, a uh, phone, uh, I'm sorry, a, a, a bicycle rental thing uh, when I was in the Dallas area one time. And you can see, um, let's see if we can uh, pull up over, over the shoulder here. Um, nope, we're frozen. That's what that sound was. That was, that was my phone dying. Um, but you can see there are, uh, maybe you can see, there are three scooters here around around me <laughs> that they can go to, and I think it tells you it tells you the battery charge of the scooter, and uh, you can reserve it a dollar to start, thirty nine cents a minute plus taxes and fees, and then it'll tell you like how to get to the scooter. Like in this instance, this scooter is was left up the street a couple of blocks, so I'd have to walk a little bit to get it. Uh, and you just kind of go from there and decide you want to go for a ride. And they're little electric scooters and. Um, there's one on a back street over here behind us right now, because I mean, you, there's no rack to designated rack to put these. You basically like, I got to my place and I'm just going to leave it here. And, uh, presumably since they need charged, I don't think they're solar. I think somebody's going to come around every day and go scoop them all up and take them back and get them charged and serviced and stuff. And, and they'll probably just cycle through these kinds of things. So I don't know. It's cool that we got it, and we we don't usually get. We don't have the healthy ride bikes or anything in this neighborhood. The side of uh, uh, it's all the middle of the city for the most part. Uh, but uh, you know, we're kind of like out here on the you know south line of of uh, Pittsburgh. Uh, also, um, supposedly from talking with uh, Brian about these, uh, you can't leave the city because these are illegal everywhere in PA except for in Pittsburgh. Uh, and apparently, like it's not even hasn't even been legalized for Philly, and they've been trying for this for a while. But there was some something about only secondary st cities, which is us, can can have these. Sorry, Philly, I guess, but we're, it's a pilot program of sorts. But apparently, if you left the line, so if you go a mile down the road here to the Pittsburgh line, and try to go into Dormont, the 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 scooter will probably stop. <laughs> oh wow! So, because it is illegal out there so and also you can't take it on state roads it's actually interesting because if you go through here and uh you you and look through the map like schools and parks there's a big x and say don't scoot here um kind of situation so um for whatever reason or illegal or, or whatever the case may be so it's interesting very very interesting so with that i don't know you guys have anything else about scooters we talked about it a couple of weeks ago, but um, but they're here, and there's definitely. I saw kids like I, like I saw kids scooting around uh, in front of the IGA here when I was uh, leaving earlier uh, to go get uh, you know sustenance uh, from Duncan and such. But um, but yeah, so it'll be it'll be interesting to see see how those goes if there's any problems that arise. And, and they city. must be popular because this morning when I walked past the T station. There was probably seven or eight of them, nice, neat mm -hmm. row. Mm -hmm. And when I came back through to grab my bus on the way home, there was one. Yeah. 
Well, yeah, think about so it. Somebody's riding them. Think about that. Like you, you get you get off the train, and instead of walking that mile home, you go hop on a scooter and you take that last mile. That's what they're meant for, I think, for the most part, is that kind of last mile idea. Um, that's one of the things that's been lacking a lot uh, when it comes to especially um, public transit, I believe, in the Pittsburgh area, is that last mile. You know, yeah. hey, the bus will get you to this neighborhood, but you're on the other side of the neighborhood. Figure it out. Yeah, so, right. You got to figure mm-hmm. out how to get, you're going to get that part. Yep. That's where the bikes come in. That's where the, the scooters come in. Um, that's where even I've seen, I, I, when I was, I would give people a ride to or from uh, the bus terminal. Um, the one like, I think it was in Wilkinsburg a lot because people would get out there, but they out, then they had to cross the, like the entirety of Wilkinsburg or the next neighborhood over to get to it. Right. So, you know, mom with a couple kids ain't going to do that. <laughs> You know, so so we're picking them up on on Uber and Lyft and, you know, and, and that's that takes care of the last mile. That's an expensive last mile too, to do to do it that way. But no, oh, whatever you do, what you have to do, I guess. So.